The quiz template is a really awesome template which allows readers to answer multiple choice and numerical questions and then they compare their data sets to an underlying data set. Um, it can really engage audiences by allowing them to interact with your data. Uh, you can create your own feedback responses and add personality to your data. Um, I will show you an example in a moment where we kind of really added some um, kind of personality into this um, example. You can add your theming and images to create the perfect on-brand quiz for the user so it can really match with your um, website and wherever you post this quiz. And you can also create end results so that people can see how well or bad that they did. So I will just show you um, our example of this one. Um, the data set is quite extensive, so I will go into it. Um, I'm just taking a sip of water because hay fever has really come up on me. So there we go. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna start on the data tab. Um, so here you will see that unlike the quiz template, we have a couple of other um, sections and kind of sheets as you would in Excel. So I'll go through each of them individually. So to begin with, we have the questions tab. The question tab is where you will post this data. So what is Iowa, Iowa technically speaking, and then uh, your multiple choice questions. So the way that this works is you can um, type in your question, then the description. So that technically speaking is the description. Then we have an input type and in the input type, we have different ones. So you can have a slider or a multiple choice question. And then we will put the correct answer in here just so that um, the template will know what answer is correct. And then the multiple choice options. So that is where these are all being pulled in where people can pick from. Um, and these all work like that. So people can keep choosing. They haven't got a life, whichever one they pick, that's the final one they have to then submit it. Um, then the feedback, so I'm going to put, I actually can't remember what the um, answer was, I was kind of just overlooking it. I promise I didn't know that, I promise I don't know Iowa at all, um, but it's fine because I've answered the most basic question correctly and I didn't know that. Um, right, so the feedback, this is where that is being pulled from, this bit here. And so because we put our correct answer there, it knows the correct answer. And then we have the question name. So it links to row two. So it knows that um, question two is going to apply to this one. And so these are each of our multiple choice. Oops, We have each of our multiple choices here. And then the text is what um, it will then um, feed back to us. So if I was to just refresh this, and essentially not cheat, I guess, but I put a county, it will put nah, um, just because it's not the right answer. And that's being pulled back from the feedback because the US county, we put the text as nah. Um, you can also additionally add media onto this. So if you wanted to include a GIF, because I know quite a lot of places um, include GIFs onto their um, quizzes, just to kind of make it a bit more fun and interactive, you can add those there as well. Um, and the end result, uh, so after all your user has answered all of the um, answers, you will then want to kind of give them a point system. So if they answered um, zero to two answers correctly, so if they've got none or two answers correct, um, it will pop up with, you're not from around here, are you? And then have a media. So if I just quickly, um, I have no idea of any of these questions. I was definitely way off. Um, nope. Capital city of Iowa. No. Nope. Um, I you can tell I'm British, so that's a good thing. Um, there's no patriotism here. Um, what's the state song? I'm gonna go I love you, Iowa. Nope. This is a pretty long quiz on Iowa. I didn't realise there was so much to know. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. So we, yeah, I actually am. So uh, that is how that would work. Um, so I got zero to two answers correct. And so I'm definitely not from around here. And we just included the GIF there to kind of add some personality to it. Um, similarly to the cards template, it all is done with column bindings. And that is how the data kind of, um, how the template pulls in all them answers and uh, replies. Um, so we have the text, which is our question. We have our explanation of the question on the B and um, the input type. So it gives you, if you click on this little 
um, question mark. It will just kind of tell you what you can choose between because this is um, how Flourish will know what question you want to kind of give. Um, so you have the choice of two, which is the multiple choice in the slider. Uh, we then have the answers and the slider input suffix. So this is um, if they need a percentage afterwards. Um, after like a value or something. So we would include that. Um, I don't really think it applies to us. So that's why we have left it blank. And then um, if you have the multiple choice, you will then just have the multiple choice options in that section um, with a little space um, between them, the uh, forward slash is that one? I think that's, a, that's that symbol. Um, it gives you examples here. So if you are confused with any of them, just click the little question mark and um, it gives you an example of what you need to include. Similarly, the feedback, it uses the column binding. So the question, the answer, the text, and media if you're using that. Um, the points range, the text, and the media. Um, you will already have, um, so I'm just gonna use the World Bank group. So it will have your branding on this now. So when you create it, it will automatically have this on there for you. But um, yeah, so this has this. Uh, you can change the design, so like which the user inputs. So if I want to change this to like a lighter blue, that's what the user chose. So that's the color it will highlight it. Uh, neutral, that's just how it displays normally. And the correct, obviously we've kind of chosen green, but if you want to go against um, design usuals, you can choose in different color. And um, the text we have, um, I mean, it's just standard, I believe. Um, but if I changed this one to red, yeah, so the question will change to the red one. We can change the color and um, the block. Okay, I'm guessing this is what will change the color of that. Yep. Um, and so that will change the background of the color. And um, borders, you can enable the shadow on this. So I'm gonna just change that back to white so because you can't really see the shadow. So here you can see the shadow going on and off. That kind of adds a bit of depth. And um, the submit button as well. And um, so I'm just going to quickly refresh this just because we can't see the submit button anymore. So here we have the submit button. So I'm just gonna click that. Um, we can change that, the color of the text here. I'm gonna make it red. There we go. Uh, the slider, once again, you can change the design of how that looks. Um, uh, similarly to how we just changed the question answers. Uh, the multiple choice, we can change that here as well. Um, scoring, so you can um, enable a drop down setting on that. Um, the end result as well, so you can tell your users, thank you for taking the quiz. Um, the text and translation the number formatting, and once again, these are all similar ones that you will have seen um, in our other templates. So that is where you will change your layout, the background color of the template, add a header, add a footer, all things like that. 